Okay, so we're going to continue carving some stamps. I did pre-sketch a few interesting little simple doodles, but this time I, I haven't bothered to draw them onto the foam. I just pre-cut some simple shapes, some leaves and some rosies. And here I'm pressing some lids into the foam. And where it's warranted, I'm making the lines deeper with my awl. This time I decided to use the vinyl backed placemat, the kind of foam on the back of that one. It's such a firm, high density foam. It, it does make for a nice stamp. It's not quite as easy to cut out as the children's craft foam, but uh, with these shapes, they're fairly simple, so it's quite manageable to do. Okay, just keep pressing those circles in, making holes, they'll look like a circle too. That's one of those photo, photo holders. It's got a nice spiral shape. I do have to deepen that one quite a bit. Okay, almost done here. When we get the ink on, it'll show how interesting the stamp can look. I hope you'll try these. I mean, I hope I'm showing you that you don't have to be a great artist to create these. And the results are quite, quite fun. And they can be quite artsy if you want them to be. So I'm using my cardboard to mount again, just some double stick tape down, and I make sure that I leave a little bit of extra to make a little, little flap so that I can lift the stamp from the paper without fumbling it as I pick it up. And we'll get some ink on here, see how it looks. I always find it fun when I put the ink on how the pattern just comes right to the front. Look at that. Fun. Okay, I hope you'll try these. I'm going to show you one more, and then we'll get to the project, and uh, we'll have some fun with ink.